Same size as your last one? Yeah. Or you think he's smaller? I don't know. He looks a little. That fool got slept. What is good? What is good, all my real ones? Welcome back to another It Gets Real Adventure. It's your boy B, the Flossy Fisherman. And today we are in Melpitas, California, here at Ranch 99. Now, y'all might be asking yourselves, this ain't no lake, this ain't the ocean. What you doing over here? Well, I'm gonna show y'all, man, how to get the best bang for your buck on a very popular bait so let's slide on in here so there you see three pounds of whole squid for 15.99 now we got the angel's gate right here and we have the oromar california squid see the size of these squid right here these are a lot smaller so i think this is what we want to go with at your regular bait shops, one pound a box, one pound of squid could go for up to eight dollars a pound. So we're getting it here, $15.99. Two pounds from other bait places, man, will cost you the same price as this. So we're getting a pound for free. Another, it gets real tip, man, for fishing. Yes, sir. And if you look at the shirt, you can get a hint of what I'm going after today. Spend some time. We headed to the bay, man, to get on some sharks. So Y'all keep it locked. All right, so the rules to pier fishing. You can't have two poles on a pier, but if you're shore fishing in the bay area, you are limited down to one pole. And you must know all size and rule regulations to any fish that you're after out here. So it's very important to read up, man. Today we are in Fremont, California at the Dumbarton Pier. I got my boy Mike with me. You know, he's a up and coming angler and um, he told me he want to hook up on a shark, man. So I brought him on out here. The sharks, the rays, they start moving in the bay and getting a little active once the water and the weather gets a lot warmer. So yeah, man, I'm trying to get back to it. I do miss that fight. So I'm just trying to wait for that bite, man. We're going to be baiting and waiting, man. Waiting for something to go down. Got both rods out there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Right on cue, man. Oh, oh. Man. You think I might have paid this thing, man? Cause he hit right on cue. Woo! When it gets real, we hire the fish. They're paid actors. Oh my gosh. Did he get off? He got off. No, he didn't. He just coming right in. Coming right in. Woo! My goodness, I'm gonna have to do this on my own. Oh, get away from the pilings. I don't want them to go and get locked under one of these pilings because I would have to sacrifice uh, my line, my weight. And these spider weights, he's not a big guy, so I think we could flip him. Oh. Well, gotta get a little bit more line first. Before I try to flip them. Oh my gosh. All right, we flipping them. Whoop. I seen on the Discovery Channel, if you flip a shark over, it just kind of neutralizes them and they just stay still. All right, got the hook out. 
on the baby girl right here. And we're gonna go ahead and put her back. So when you are using braided line and you see frays in your line like this, it's best to cut that off. So man, you can have some weak spots in your line. Go ahead and tie a brand new knot on here. Make sure everything's strong, secure. No weak links in my braid. Fix these. Now we can bait up. Get ready to cast. Tighten this up. The drag go a little bit. Wait for that to go off while I set up my other rig. What I do is I get a whole squid, feed it through the top, then I work that hook all the way through, take it through the middle, work that hook through again, pull down a little bit. Until we get to the bottom of the squid. Make sure our hook comes out. Just like that. I'll set it up just like that. That's how we want it. So if they bite, you know, just the tentacles, they'll get hooked. All right, second one going out. It's a little too close to my other one, so. There we go. Looking at the watch, there's fish on there, so there is activity. Boy, Mike getting some nibbles, man. We're trying to get him on his first shark today. From the bay, I need a shark. Man, I was just getting hit. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, nothing on. I do want to cast out more that way because of the way the current is pulling it's pulling you this way and if you're ever here at the dumbarton bridge right here it gets deep there's a lot of snags down there so you kind of want to stay away from that area when i cast my other pole the current took it all the way over here and it snag city over there man so trying to cast out this way and keep it out there Oh, just got bit again. This one right here. Oh, oh. They chomping. He's chomping. That's uh, like a seven gill. Because a leopard or a ray, they just take your stuff. Seven gills kind of just get that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mike might be fighting his first leopard or a seven gill. We'll see. Could be a ray though. Could be a striper. What could it be? Oh, the suspense. And he got him a little leopard. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there goes my bill. I don't care though. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Double hook up, baby! in a long time haven't felt this fight in a long time that could be a ray you got some oh no it's a, it's a shark oh oh man look at how hard these things fight what kind of shark oh it's a leopard 
Yeah. I don't think I can flip mine though. He heavy. Woo. Just drop it down. I'll bring him into the net. Right there. There we go. Coming across. Coming across. Ah, all right. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that might be a 36 for sure. Oh man, broke my hook. The bad boy's fighting. I, I believe that's more than 36. The tape right here. Yep, yeah, 38 inches. Keeper. 38 inch leopard shark. It's a keeper. But I'm not keeping leopard sharks today, so I'm gonna release them. Back you go. Oh, gosh, belly fly. See all those fish up there? And you see that thing saying fish blinking, blinking, blinking. Based on the moon phases, that's how it's getting that. Uh, information so it's the same thing as what I use when I use now tide or uh, tides for fishing website they give you basically the same guesstimates of when the fish activity is the highest based on the moon phases I don't go out here to the bay or to the surf without knowing when that bite time is man so I check one of the two things the app the website and if I'm out here, I look if the watch corresponds with all the info that the apps and the website have gave me. That bite was crazy. My boy Mike just hooked up on his first uh, leopard shark. I hooked up on a keeper. Then my third pole started, my second pole started going off, man. We had like three bites going off. It went crazy out here. It's going crazy, but we gonna bait up again and um, see what other species we can get because out here fishing in the bay you never know what's on the end of your line man it could be a stingray it could be a leopard shark it could be a seven gill shark it could be a shovel nose guitar fish it could be a skate it could be a striper a sturgeon hey man the list goes a little bit longer than that but man you just never know what's on the end man it could be jaws man you can have that one in a million phenomenon of a, a juvenile great white biting your stuff man who knows when i'm fishing for sharks in the bay basically i do a sliding rig carolina rig setup so i have my slider right here followed up by a bead to protect my knot then i have a swivel connected to a 35 pound wire leader now i use wire leaders because sharks do have teeth and if your mono or fluorocarbon is not thick enough they can chew right through that um, including braid and i also have this connected to a wire snail with a size three aught hook um, i usually use five aught but they kind of ran out um, and these are made by eagle claw so you can look that up uh this is about an 18 inch wire leader right here connected to a six inch you know which gives me about two feet of leader line but very strong so far as my braid i'm using 65 pound braid uh on my pen battle 2 10 foot um with an 8000 reel so i throw heavy out here because um you can hook up into some really big sharks or really heavy rays man and if you ever hooked up on a stingray my goodness it's like trying to reel in a parachute or something man it's those things get heavy man and they get up to about 80 to 100 pounds or more you know i've caught an 80 pounder myself and man it's quite the fight so you really do need a rod and reel and line that can handle that yeah if you want to fish in the bay man i say uh get you a 
either a full on heavy power pole or you can get something like this, a nine foot pole, medium heavy, moderate fast, action, 6,000 reel to 8,000, along with some 65 pound braid, man, that should do you, do you good out here. It's going down, dog. Ooh, wee. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Some head shakes. Some strong, strong beast right here. Yeah, this is another good one. Oh. Leopard shark fishing, y'all. Woo. I could probably flip this one. Do the trick, hang them upside down, puts them in a trance. Now he's calm. You see when he was on his belly, he was going haywire, but yeah, man, it helps to watch a Discovery and National Geographic and Animal Planet, man. You learn some things. Got a good 30-incher. Are we gonna let them all go? All right. So how was that fight, man? It was nice. It was nice. To a big one, though. <laughs> Trying to make my dragon take off. Oh! Here goes my bill. Oh, he popped. another bill <laughs> and he was not on dang lost like three bells a day oh getting action over there Losing that. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Well, then. Size 8,000, man. And he started to run. He started to take all the drag. He said he wanted all the smoke. Whew. Oh yeah, we fighting. We fighting. Woo. I don't know if this is a shark or a ray, but yo, no, nah, that's a shark. Beastie. Oh beastie boy. Oh, oh, still fighting. Oh, yeah, that all, man, this is gonna need a net, dog. Yeah. This one ain't playing. It's a big guy. Decent. Move this nail out. Bail out the way. For sure, it's another keeper. <laughs> Big fella, I ain't playing today. It's definitely about a 40. Oh, 39. Huh, all right. An inch bigger than the last. We're gonna let this fella go.
Tight. Oh yeah. four leopard sharks on deck today which is good because that is the thing that i was targeting today was just leopard sharks and usually when you go out in the bay and try to target a certain species you end up catching things that you don't want to like bat rays or skates or guitar fish man i mean so i'm i'm actually pretty pleased you know I didn't mind if I would have caught a, set, a seven gill, but hey, man, it is what it is. I got the target species of the day, which is the leopard shark. Even got the homie on two of them. Two twenty-nines. Hey, your first though, first man. Was, uh, <laughs> felt good. Heck yeah. Yeah, man, so that's what it was all about. Coming back out here, I mean, like I said, I haven't been here in over a year, so. Hey, Dumbarton Pierce, always lit. I don't think I've ever been skunked here before, so it's good. No rays today. Didn't have to get muscled up, muscle up these big old rays or, man, so it was cool, man, it was cool. Thank y'all for staying tuned for another It Gets Real adventure. If this is your first time watching It Gets Real and you like the content you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy one time, man. And that notification bell so you don't ever miss another episode of It Gets Real. And if you wanna stay updated on the latest and greatest, follow me on It Gets Real Fishing on Instagram and Facebook. Last but not least, if you dig the shirt, if you dig the merch, hop on to itgetsreal.com and you can purchase some of these things you see right here man the hats the neck gaiters the shirt we got what you need on itgetsreal.com the freshest fishing apparel for real anglers and also if you use promo code real one you can save 10 percent on your next purchase but till the next one y'all be cool y'all be blessed peace